What is up, everybody? All right, thank you. Right. Went crazy for the last guy, me. No, all right, that's fine. It's okay, I get it. My name is Zoltan, I get a lot of garbage for that name because people think that's a stage name that I came up with. It is not, it's not. My mom knowingly and soberly named me Zoltan, you guys. That's real talk, that's what I gotta deal with. I'm not even sure why she did it. To be honest with you, I think she did it because she wanted to mess up my career options. But let's think about it, there's not a whole lot of jobs out there for a dude named Zoltan. There isn't, it was either stand-up comic or wizard. <laughs> what do you want me to do with that? People give me a hard time, man. I used to, uh, I used to work down in Orange County and the first day of this brand new job, this dude named Joe came up to me and he's like, uh, your name is Zoltan? What are your parents like, hippies or something? I'm like, dude, dude, that's messed up. Your name is Joe. What are your parents? Lazy? <laughs> like at least my name's a conversation starter, right? <laughs> like, oh, your name is Zoltan, what is that, Hungarian? Awesome. <laughs> your name is Joe? Can you fix my radiator? I figured you could pull that off with such a name, man. I'm from San Diego. Give it up for San Diego, or not, that's fine, either way. I'm from San Diego. Down in San Diego at our beaches now, we have, uh, we have tsunami evacuation route signs telling people which way to run in case there's a tsunami. All it is is a sign that's like two feet by two feet, says tsunami evacuation route, and all it is is an arrow that points east. That's it, that's the whole sign. I'm not sure who this sign is for. I don't care if you're a tourist, you're not familiar with the area, but if you're standing in the beach and you see something big, wet, and mean coming this way, and you don't know that you should probably turn around and run the other way, then you know what, we as a society, we don't need you. We're better off without you. We don't need that guy voting or filling out the census. We're better off. No, dude, you're good. I just can't wrap my mind around the type of person that would be standing there in the beach, looking out at the water, seeing a big wave coming and just like, oh. I'm befuddled. I don't know what to do. Watch out, honey, it's a rogue wave. You better get in a doorway or I'm gonna stop, drop, and roll. Hopefully this thing will just go over me. Signs made for dumb people is what I'm getting at. I'm not saying I'm smart. A few months back, we had a big earthquake down in San Diego and I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I didn't jump into a doorway or get under a table. I hopped on Facebook, updated my status, let everyone know about it. <laughs> earthquake, exclamation point. You know what the sad thing was? I wasn't even the first one in the newsfeed. I was like the third one down. I was like, man, you guys are good. The ground is still shaking. You guys are... Your blackberries are better than mine. That is amazing. I didn't do anything today getting ready for this. Just watch some TV. That's what I do. I don't work. I just watch TV. You know what my least favorite channel is on TV is PBS. PBS is like the worst shows on television, but somehow they get the balls to blame you for it. After every one of their shows, it always ends the same way. It's like, this program was brought to you by viewers like you. I'm at home in my underwear, like, don't blame that on me. I... <laughs> How dare you? I had nothing to do with that awful episode of Mr. Rogers. Like, what are you... What are you doing to me right now? <laughs> Dude, I once did that joke, and this lady popped up. She's like, How dare you say something bad about Mr. Rogers? Mr. Rogers is a great show for kids. No, it's not. Mr. Rogers is an awful show for kids. Any show that tries to get little kids to trust a postman named Mr. McFeely <laughs> is not a good show for kids. Remember that guy, he'd come in with a mustache? Speedy delivery, hey. Keep him away from the kids, how about that? Episode one. I do like watching uh, TBS, that's one of my favorite channels. They used, to, uh, they, used to, they used to show Fresh Prince of Bel Air all the time and they stopped doing that. And now they replaced it with Sex in the City, which uh, some of you women might hate this, but I hate that show. 
I never even watched an episode, but the reason I hate it is because women that watch the show, they always try to tell me that Sarah Jessica Parker is attractive. <laughs> Thank you, fellas. Yes. Thank you. Ladies, she is not. I have a theory about Sarah Jessica Parker. I think if Sarah Jessica Parker had a penis, her face would make a lot more sense. <laughs> like things, the puzzle would start making sense. Like, oh, I see it now, okay. She's got a nose that starts somewhere above her hairline, ends around her bottom lip. Like, how do you kiss a girl with a rigid nose like that? It's like trying to tackle the Heisman Trophy as it's like stiff arming you. Like, Dude, do I come in at an angle? What am I supposed to do? Recently, uh, I got a girlfriend, which I'm pretty excited about. What I didn't know, uh, I had been single for like three years and I had to get used to being in a relationship again. I had to get used to the fact that now I have to end every text message with a smiley face. <laughs> and God have mercy on my soul if I don't. <laughs> if I don't end a text message with a smiley face, I'll get a phone call two seconds later going, hey, what the hell's going on? <laughs> like, late, the text said I love you. I. <laughs> I didn't think it needed the smiley face, but whatever. Was, uh, I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but I'm, I'm a little insane. I, I shouldn't be in a relationship. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but have you ever had a bad dream about the lady you love doing something messed up, and the next morning you wake up mad at her like she actually did that stuff? <laughs> that happened to me. Last week I woke up, and my girl is always very sweet in the morning. She's always like, hey baby, good morning. It's gonna be a beautiful day, how you doing? I'm just like, I'm doing all right. <laughs> Probably be doing a lot better if you stop banging Emilio Estevez, that'd be amazing. <laughs> really baby, the Mighty Ducks coach, thank you. 